even if you do talk him down. Kinda. Oh, DJ Ryder. Her brother's textures are being rendered. Just hold on a second. Hey, Scott. You beat me out of medical again. How long? Not long. Weeks. Enough to get started. Started on what? The Hyperion? Meridian? I don't, I don't know anymore. One and the same. Capital ship, capital city. A home for humanity. We did it, Dad. Are you okay? You and Sam? Our connection has been restored. I am once again able to help the Pathfinder activate Remnant technology. But does he still need to? I adapted to use Remnant without him, but it's not advisable. Dr. Carlisle estimates an 80% risk of further hemorrhaging. Further being the alarming part for you and me both, Scott. So we Pathfinder, end this with brain the damage? Are waiting for us. Go on. I bet it's real important. It always is. Okay. Nico says that was not well done. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know what happened to mom. I'm assuming she's still like in cryo, right? Isn't that what happened? Um. Let's see how many points they have. 26 points, because they're completely upgraded. Well, let's add another one in, in my, my sniper. Sure. Okay, let's, can I, I can't save, really? Okay, there we go. We'll save. Uh, that was quick, you just gonna sleep? Go on. I need some rest. Get out of my bed. Oh, dear God. Oh, all the email. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Mm. Uh, please have thanks to your team. We almost didn't make it, but thanks to the bravery of the Pathfinder team, we have been, we have well and truly arrived. I'm really beyond measure that my involvement was not necessary. Who are you? Waking up to this was amazing. Seems like the thing- I don't know who these people are. Forever, honestly. From Let's Play. Who- Are these, like, cre like people in the credits? Or... I don't know. I'm assuming these are actual, like, people in the credits. Like, devs and stuff. I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. Not all of them. Maybe. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Epilogue. Okay, so there's an epilogue. So there's there's something, but uh, yeah, that final boss. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. Eco says, hey, EA, this is what happens when you pull funding and go home in the middle of the game. You don't give your studio enough time to finish. Yep. Save the cluster, straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather... You must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus until elections when we can all step aside. Okay. At the appropriate time. If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. 
or even Tyrion's Kadara. carrying his own rave Paladin. around with him. <laughs> Won't happen. <laughs> but you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. Me. I put forward Pathfinder Hager. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. What? But Hager keeps the position and the timeline in the Nexus family. Let's give the Krogan a voice. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morta? <laughs> you are out of your mind. It's definitely unorthodox. I'm doing it. You want the Pathfinder to pick a voice? I'm picking Morda. I think the Krogan have waited long enough for a seat on a council. For the Krogan. Well, it certainly colors Meridian's opening day. Don't worry, number eight. You'll be fine. Well, yeah, that's right. Get out of here, Tan. Scott is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. I saved your ass. You shut up. I mean, I would have rather had it be cash, but they didn't give me that option, so... Alright, where's my team? Where's my, my team? Talk to your squad and crew. Uh... I thought that I saw other, like, another quest, but I guess not. Okay. Where are you guys? There's Jaw. We'll wait to talk to him. Cora, what do you want? Hey, Ryder. Hey. How's God? Much she better. scamming on my brother? There might be two Riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands. You think it'll be okay? Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. All right, her talking, I feel like, took longer than the final part of the game. Uh, Joel, we'll wait to talk to you. Um... The last thing they said before Cryo was the Pathfinder will Oh, there's Liam. Pathfinder, catch a seat for you in your planet. That's not getting less weird. About time Iridium got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Scott woke up. <laughs> How's he doing? Not as well as he acts, but he's getting there, thankfully. Stubborn as hell. I hear it runs in the family. Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? I slip out whenever there's a gap in the paperwork. Just to look at it. I feel you. Just... Ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. I think you answer to me, so... <laughs> Pathfinder, here! What? Who said that? You? Was it you? So glad you're oh my god, around. her hair is blinding me. I have important news for you. Good God. There always is. My mom's awake. Yes, Maybe. discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen. Oh, the Corian arc. What should I be hearing? Sorry, Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. 
Repeating, this is the Ark Kirathia. The situation is not under control. Not an avoid until further update. Repeating. Is that the Corian Ark? And Elcor, Drell, Volus? Hanar, I think. That's some delicate business, putting Hanar in stasis. Did we really need Quinn to bring is, the Hanar? They're still out there. The Kila Sia wasn't destroyed. It's patchy, and there's no traceable vector, I assume? It bounced through the Scourge. I've doubled long-range <laughs> probes, but... That's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from... wherever they are. Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. All we can do is wait. For the sequel, that's never gonna happen for this game. <laughs> hey, Dragon Attack. Kid. Old man. <laughs> this place is something else. It's just another starting line. Where we go from here is on us. Well, damn, you were listening to me after all. Through all the creaking of your old bones. <laughs> I sent out the Nakmore scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. Good. He'll love that. He wanted the job. He can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. <laughs> that laugh. Whatever happens, we'll be ready for it. Pathfinder and crew ready to take on the galaxy, huh? They won't know what hit him. <laughs> You're gonna fund the sequel to this yourself and make it the right way. Hi, Ryder. Petra, I will talk to you in a minute. I don't know if I should have come. I must have Gotta talk to other people first. Pathfinder, I'm told there will soon be a new voice representing Helios. Another of your leaders claiming to know what we need. Shut up, Ephra. It was an impossible choice, Ephra. There's no name that would represent everyone. Though the one chosen definitely represents someone. Don't they, Pathfinder? No one's pretending this is ideal, but it's a start. That's irrelevant. Things started long before any of you arrived. The only important question is, what will continue? Hire of GX's Pathfinder. To better tomorrows. Okay. If we band together, we can make enough noise to save the Koreans. Oh no, it's my boyfriend. Want to slip away? Found a great storage room. Sturdy crates, secluded, no interruptions. A storage room? You spoil me. It'll be like our first date, but better. Guess you'll be heading out soon? Still a lot to do. Meridian's just one step toward making Helios our home. Yeah, but a damn big one. You deserve to celebrate. And I deserve another drink. Cheers, Pathfinder. Couldn't you have died during the battle? I'm waiting for my wife to be brought out of trial. Well, you're gonna have to wait. I'm not I'll in charge ship of here. Memorial. Ark Hyperion, departed Milky Way 2185, arrived Andromeda 2819, current status recorded as Meridian. Well, narrator guy's getting work. Please select a topic. L? Ark Hyperion has been declared a monument to those who lost their lives in service of the initiative. A plaque has been placed at the highest point of the Hyperion superstructure. It reads, we turned our backs upon a dwindling star to chase a dawn beyond our childhood's end. The Hyperion was shepherded to its resting place by a coalition of allies who stood as one against the Ket Archon. Pathfinder Mainly Rider me. spearheaded the defense and remains assigned to Ark Hyperion despite its reclassification. Landing Day has been proposed as a cluster-wide holiday. Status pending. I still probably won't get to have off work on that day. While decommissioned as a vessel, the superstructure silhouette of Ark Hyperion will be maintained in perpetuity. All internal structures are being adapted for sleeper deployment and future industrial and residential development. These internal structures have been designated as Port Meridian. 
The transformation of Al Kyrian into Port Meridian continues both above and below the surface. This includes the planned integration of initiative and remnant technologies, pending further research. Port Meridian is currently powered by repurposed Tantalus drive cores, which require the frequent discharge of static energy. This causes a unique visual phenomenon during Meridian's night cycle that has been dubbed Aurora Meridiani. Hmm. Um. Well, Jawa's there. Where the heck is everybody else? Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. I'm dressed Hunter, for this occasion. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Second Wave Placements Officer, Darlavas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. Darlavas Hyperion, Placements Officer. As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. My mission is to ensure compatibility and fulfillment. When are you changing your name to Vast Meridian? I keep Vast Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here, as my godparents would want. Just saying, yeah. we're staying. Please forgive Hunter. He is an ass. Her godparents must have been Quarian. Iora Pule, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of our port. Exploration and study of the interesting substructure will be handled by initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Hunter Carey, can I get some clarification on reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security, which is perfect. Come back in a year. This will be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. Hmm. This is the first I've heard of the term second wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists, food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Maybe that's what this sequel's supposed to be called, Mass Effect Second Sounds Wave. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity. But rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Aye, what they say. Okay. Um, I think she had a Quarian name, because I think she said something about honoring her godparents, so I'm assuming her godparents were Quarian. Assuming. I don't know. Whoa! Dance party! Sup? Meridian, huh? I see it every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. So what happened to the Did rest of the you? kit? The team's They're working not with the dead. Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know, I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body, cooperating with the Angara. You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. I just love how there's a rave happening. Over there. Heading ground side? Still standing. Wow, Lexi Still is Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. I'll remember that the next time you chew me up for getting hurt. So will I, Ryder. So will I. Well, that was touching. Pathfinder. What? Let's get out there, huh? Datapad. For Nexus Technical Record, Jardon Language Study. Jardon technology remains inscrutable. We can't even determine their intent in building Meridian, and partial translations only serve to provoke concerns. Research is ongoing. Well, what does this mean, Sam? 
The language is imprecise, or perhaps too precise, but the potential capacity of Meridian is clear. Unlimited. Maybe they were going to answer a bunch of questions Hiya. in the sequel. That's not going to happen. Oh, good. You're here. Maybe the festivities the can turn finally brought begin. His glow sticks. Don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go. Y you know what I mean. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. I don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. She was angling for an invitation, I think. Denied. <laughs> Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? Look who's talking, Miss Basale. Just keeping you on your toes. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. Well, are you gonna dance with me or not, Phoebe? Well, that was Hiya. painful. It was very painful. Um, this is open over Get out here. There. So somebody, oh, there's Gil. Hey, Ryder. So Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congratulations. I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Meridian. Mary, Deanne, Marie Deanne. Pretty cool, right? No. Jill might have something to say about that. Oh, right. Known to self. Bounce names off Jill. So this is supposed to be a celebration, right? Getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? We're not done by a long shot. Come on, try to ease up a little. Enjoy the win. But so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You want to blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. <laughs> Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? You better get this nonsense out of your system in the next nine months, you know. <laughs> Little Mary's gonna have a fun day. Please don't name your child that. I'll have to fire you. Honored to see you, Pathfinder. Hi. Yeah. Glad to have you. Is he the only one that's over here? I, got, I have three left, and I know that Jal and Vetra are over there. Who am I missing? Real though, who am I missing? Joel and Betra. Right away. Got them. Hiya. I told you it was time. Hmm. Heading out soon. See, Vetra's here. Talk to Vetra. So Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the Hey Ryder. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day. Pathfinder of the century. You know, the usual. Still, get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die, and probably even before. Great. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Seeing you two in cahoots makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted, in so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Does anyone actually say Misty when they're referring to, like, being about to cry? Because I've never heard of anyone say that. No, I don't want to go to the Tempest. Where am I going to go? The game is over. Where am I going? All right, I talked to Liam. Who did I not talk to? I don't know where to start. Do you guys know? But I can. Who am I missing? world I'm on. It's all... We talked to Cora, we talked to Liam, we talked to Vetro, we talked to Drac, we talked to Gil, we talked to Lexi. Joel's right there. Callow, I guess, but I thought he was... Wasn't he on the ship? Oh, there he is. Ryder, enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Callow. 
The Tempest is getting some much-needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Finding Meridian crystallized a lot of things about being a Pathfinder. I expect many around here are thinking about their own potential. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. Well, that it just means a lot that you want to stick with us, Callow. Of course. And keeping my ship is a plus. I've That's learned a, a lot reason. from you, Ryder. And Gil. Don't, th please don't tell him that. Things will change now, but that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. Okay, so it was Callow. Yes, I've heard of Misty Eyed, but I've never heard of someone say like, just like Misty by itself. Hey, Joel. <laughs> so this is how you all party. Hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. No, I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And exactly what it is, what it may become, <laughs> I can't even imagine. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I love Agreed. how this cut still looks like it's bleeding. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshrai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. Joel, you're never gonna forget what I'm gonna do to you later. It's like a fairy tale. Do you have those where everyone walks off into the sunset holding hands? At a time like this, I, I... I think it's strange that you can't resist making a joke. I can't so. <clears throat> Jal, our people... Actually, no, I can't. Actually, I kind of like it. Return to the Tempest to continue exploring? What? I was informed that you could not do your side quest Ready. after that mission. We should have been with him, John Murrow. I agree. <clears throat> Leaving so soon? It's no fun having the boss at the party. That depends entirely on the type of leader. I'm new to this role myself. The training didn't cover how to honor your peers. There's no protocol. Your father invented this role, but you defined it. Meridian is humanity's home, and maybe one for all of Helios. We did that, but I'm the Pathfinder. I should be out there on the Tempest with all of you. Let's go home. All right. Are you getting all misty?
Well, okay. Was this just telling me what I did? You saved the Krogan trapped aboard the Archon's flagship, but only by leaving Solarian Pathfinder Rekha behind. You learned that the Angara are the result of genetic engineering by ancient aliens called the Jardan. It remains to be seen what impact this knowledge will have on Angaran society. Well, I guess we'll never know. You saved Moshe Sefa, but angered her by refusing to destroy the Ket Exaltation Facility. Jal approved of your decision, hoping the Resistance can one day rescue the innocent Angara still trapped inside. You made sure the Ket Cardinal in charge of the Exaltation Facility did not survive meeting you. During your trial by a fire on Habitat 7, you recognized the Ket as a hostile threat and fought to defend your crewman Fisher, explored an alien laboratory, found a cave full of plant life that survived from the planet's Golden World era, discovered alien shuttlecraft of unknown origin, rescued Greer from his captors, and accepted the role of Pathfinder. Well, I did a lot of that. You made a deal with Sloane Kelly to get the information you needed from Ven Terev before his public execution on Kadar Port. <laughs> then she turns into Jean-Luc Picard and says, engage. Uh, that would be good. You explored and reactivated a mysterious alien vault, apparently designed for terraforming, bringing the hope of new life back to Eos. Despite the potential cat threat, you guided the outpost on Eos on a mission of peaceful scientific exploration of the Helios Cluster. So I guess this is like all the stuff that we did. Uh, despite objections from certain initiative leaders, Tan, you made the unconventional choice of nominating Krogan leader Morda to serve as interim ambassador for the Nexus. With the help of your brother and countless allies, you successfully defeated the Archon and his forces. The combined efforts of your fellow Pathfinders and Captain Dunn ensured the safe landing of the Hyperion. The ship as Port Meridian is now a permanent home for the initiative. And you secured the trust of the Angara by proving yourself as an ally on both Vold and Havarl. You proved yourself as an ally to the Angara by supporting their research efforts on Havarl. You proved yourself as an ally to the Angara by aiding their fight against the Ket on Vold. So I guess that's important. So this is like their uh, profiles. Them. <laughs> Romantic entanglements. Bleh. Still upset about it. I'm still upset about it. We could have had it, Joel. Rolling in the deep. Okay. Um, you convinced former Spectre Avidus Ricks to take up the mantle of Turing Pathfinder. You ignored Salian's wishes to let Dr. Aiden go free in exchange for information on the kit that might give you initiative a technical advantage. You secured Dr. Uh, Zoe Kennedy and her son, the first human child born in Andromeda. You are confident that the young family will be safe and sound on Prodromus. I mean, I'm not, but okay. After proving that William Spender was conspiring with Nexus mutineers, you exiled the assistant director of, col of colonial affairs to a brief life on the run from his former associate. Um, okay, so let's, let's check out our ongoing... Pro psychological profile. I guess this is what all the decisions we made, like, affected, I guess. <laughs> Slay those vocals. Uh, from the files of Tempest physician and psychologist Dr. Lexi Caparo. Ryder, I've, c I've completed a more thorough evaluation. For now, this is what I'm delivering to Pathfinder HQ. I may send you updates later if applicable. You exhibit heart and empathy in many situations, although the passion that you bring to your role as Pathfinder does not go unnoticed by those who work alongside you. In fact, it may be a key component in drawing others to you. However, I will say that all this is completely in line with your tendency to act impulsively in many situations, to go with your gut rather than pause and wait for more information. Perhaps it would be more fair to say that I've noted that you are more impulsive with your affection, but not as impulsive in the field. I didn't include this in my report. This is just between us. Well, excuse me. You don't need to be looking at my bed, friends. Perhaps I should note that you are more impulsive in the field than you are with your affection, whatever that means. We can keep that between us. I would add, you're quick to use warmth and humor in many situations. Your casual and open nature is welcomed by much of the team. I would note, however, that your tendency towards sarcasm has been mentioned to me by Initiative Hierarchy and Director Tan in particular. This shouldn't be seen as a problem, but rather as an indication of a unique take on survival and success. Well, they got the sarcasm part right. 
Uh, you still mourn the loss of your father, Alec, a man you loved and respected. You hope you'd have made him proud as Pathfinder. You visited your brother, Scott, Scott, while he was in a coma. You were honest with your brother and told him dad was killed. On Habitat 7, you were honest with Scott about the struggles you face in finding home. By unlocking your father's memories within Sam, you discover that your mother, Ellen, is still alive and in stasis aboard the Hyperion. I'm, I'm assuming she's still alive, despite the fact that, you know, it crashed. You also discovered the truth about the Reaper threat to the Milky Way. Uh, okay, you helped raise Fidel. A.K.A. the charlatan eliminates Sloan Kelly and Kadara Port. He now runs things on the planet through his Angaran proxies. You obeyed the wishes of the ancient Angaran AI on Vold and destroyed it. Do you guys remember that? That really long section where that guy was just getting electrocuted, uh, like, for five minutes. By giving the Remnant Drive Corps to Morda and the, Cor the Krogan Colony, you convince them to rejoin the initiative. You have an outpost on Elodin, thanks to your bold choice. So, would you not get the outpost if you didn't do that? Huh. You drove the outlaws off H047C and secured enough helium-3 fuel to keep Nexus shuttles flying for the next three centuries. Well, good for me. That's what I did. Uh, that's... Yeah, we don't need that... So that's just extra stuff, I guess. Sam, that's... 100% viability on all known UNCs, Pathfinder. Please access the Tempest VidCon for an important update. Okay. Tempest VidCon? All right. Guys, we're going to VidCon. Uh, I feel like I should save. Uh, did Kita get Queen title in Splatfest? Yes, we all, um, Kat, Eco, and I, and Snuffles actually played together, uh, off stream. And we all got to Queen, and it was awesome because then we won, so we got a bunch of uh, sea snails to use, which was great because I lost all of mine because I had to redo my profile. So, yes. You and Meridian from Carrie. Oh, there's my girlfriend. My my fling on the side. Are you all right? The reports from Meridian are a little... No, they're terrifying. Please, can you drop by the Nexus? Yes. Liam found this on a Nexus message board, and I thought it might amuse you. Attached is a vintage watercolor-style painting of the Tempest, grounded on Meridian, with Callow posing heroically in front of it in a scarf and old-style flight goggles. I didn't imagine anyone knew what I looked like. You're the famous one these days. It's rather fetching, though. If I can get a clean copy, maybe I'll put it up somewhere. <laughs> Sounds like somebody is admiring Callow. Uh, this is from PB. To Ryder the Conqueror. I know you've got a million people shining on you right now, so I'm here to talk you off the pedestal. You're not done, Buster. There's a galaxy of secrets out there, and I'm going to get them with or without you. Your call. So lap up the praise, but do it quick and get your ass back in gear. It's fair enough. Uh, from Liam. Things I wrote as we walked away from Meridian Control. This is the best sunlight I've ever felt. God damn, the Hyperion hit hard. But it's home now. Holy shit, all these people are home now. I'm going to walk this whole sphere. Wonder if there's fish. Can we make fish? We, we brought fish. What's in that star? I think I'm going to cry, and it's great. Tomorrow will be great. Let's go exploring. Instead of a list of media, there's just home as a header and a bunch of blank entries to be filled in later. Alright, so from Vetra, they want to name a gun after me. <laughs> they might do one for everyone on the Pathfinder crew. Can you imagine the lines? You trying to be funny? Nix that. Sorry, I need to work on my one-liners. <laughs> Great. Best fling. <laughs> Dump rays for more fling time. Oh, there will be fling time. Uh, I thought you'd like to know that the science team has decided to name our first Helios Milky Way plant hybrid after you. It's not exactly viable yet. About 90% of them die shortly after germination. Well, and those that survive tend to be sterile, but we're getting there. Okay, I just read this over, and I feel like it could almost be taken as an insult, but I swear it's not. So that's from Suvi. And now we have a communication from Joel. Andy writes fiction. Thank you for the 250, and Andy says, it was just a prank, Han. Was it? I love that game. Oh, I need to replay that sometime. If I didn't already play it for the channel, I would totally stream it. But I already played it, so it's kind of like, eh. And it didn't do very well, so. Unfortunately. In case you haven't seen the reports, celebrations are breaking out on Aya and Havarl. People are walking with a lightness to their steps, and there's even more laughter than usual. Recruitment for resistance has never been easier. On Vold, while the Ket are in disarray, we will take down their bases one by one until they're gone from the planet forever. People hope that one day the Vassal will be a thing of the past and that all worlds will be like Aya. Change is coming for the Angara and humans. We're lucky to have each other. At least that's what Ephra said. No, he really did. You know what? I would have I would have accepted nudes, Jal. That's 
all I really wanted from you. Uh, from Chris- from Christmas? Tate? Who the- who are you? Hey Pathfinder, minor problem here at the outpost. Probably nothing, but I might need you to look into it for me. Fair warning, it's a little weird. What? Uh, good work from Korra. We secured Meridian, gave the Archon hell, and made the cluster bloom. No Huntress team could have done better. Oh my god, Korra. That's because of you. I'm proud to have you- have been your second through all this. Excuse- Excuse me? I think that we can all agree that, like, Drac was our second. We didn't need Golden Worlds after all, just the right person for the job. Well, that wasn't you, so cry about it. Okay. Goodness, what are we- what, what are we doing now? What do we have to do? So we gotta- we gotta talk to our girl. Which I don't- I don't know where that is. Path of a Hero, I think is what it is. Um. So, let's do that first. Before we do the other thing. We're in stable orbits. What happened to the audio of the guy being tortured? It wasn't loud enough. Like, you couldn't really hear it, so... I'm and I was running... Something. And I was running out of space on my, uh... Streamlabs thing. So I had to get rid of it. Probe away. I found something. Drac was second with jaw closing in on third. We found a comet, I think. Cora wasn't dead last. She was. Cora was definitely in dead last. She was not my second. Oh, we got some titanium. Wasn't that exciting? <laughs> Alright, where you at, girl? Let's go. <laughs> Cora, please, you're delusional. That's fair. Yeah, Streamlabs just added more space so you can uh, upload more GIFs and stuff, which is nice. Because I used to have a ton, but then I filled up the space, so I had to delete some. Liam took priority over Korra and Liam's couch above Liam. <laughs> Andy will fight you, Lynn. Andy loves Liam. Andy. That's very you. Alright, where's my girlfriend? My girlfriend on the side. Can you imagine if you woke up from cryo and they're like, so, um, this happened. And like, hearing about all the things with the cat and being like, what? You made it back. You always come back. Hey, babe. I was worried about you after the cat attack. I wasn't afraid of them, just afraid for you. Everything will change now. I want to start documenting Meridian, and I guess you'll be busy too. Not everything will change. Not if we don't want it to. Well then, we'll both have something to hold on to. Hey, Connor, what's Meridian. up? Now that's history in the making. I came all the way here for that? Really? I don't even get a kiss? <sighs> Fine. Be like that. These power outages make no and he says blocked and reported. <laughs> I always love it when people say that to me in the comment section. I'm like, oh really? Did you? So now we need to go back to the Tempest, which I need to 
figure out how to get there. This way, I think. Hmm. This way. Alright, see you later, Andy. Do they, s do they say anything? I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. Great. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Meridian was mind-blowing, right? I mean, someone didn't bring me where the real action was, but I heard you were amazing. No safety net, no Sam. Didn't bat an eyelash. Eyelashes were the only thing I wasn't batting. Batted the Archon right out of the park. Now, Helios will really take shape, and we have VIP tickets. In some ways, I feel like our adventure is just beginning. Indeed. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. We probably won't. That sounds like a lie. Okay. So, Lexi wanted to talk to me. Lexi, I hear Scott's back on his... I guess we have to load to talk to Leah. Deteon. Deteon. A home in the middle of Kadara, despite it all. Cool. We'll talk later. I'm glad that we had to load I know that. it. Alright, who else is over here? Oh, there's Joel. Joel. So. So. So, take off your cape. <laughs> so, isn't this the best time to be alive? Yeah, I've decided it is. Or the best time to be awake, as the case may be. No, awake and alive. Because if you weren't here, you'd be dead. Best time to be alive. Yeah, though I don't know how we top this feeling. For now, maybe we don't have to. I know how we can. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. Hmm. All right, Gora. Meridian, at last. There's still so much to do. For the Nexus, the Angara, but not today. Today, we get to feel good about winning. Great. See you later, Cora. Bye. I'll be here. Bye. Mm. Ugh. Drac is not getting a snack. Anybody in the bathroom? Oh, look. Champagne. Swiped a couple bottles of champagne from Vortex. I figure if we want to toast Meridian properly, we should do it with the good stuff. It's chilling next to the coolant tanks. From Liam. Stevie says, I'll fabricate some proper champagne flutes. Won't take long. Gil says, you're blowing resources on that. Stevie says, drink yours out of a coffee mug if you like. I want a proper clink to enjoy mine. Scheduled nomad maintenance. This crate needs a tune-up after everything she's been through. I'll blow the dust filters and retune the micro thruster ar array. Liam says, why is all your maintenance done at the crack of dawn? A, no dawn in space. B, I'm usually awake at 400 hours. We saved the cluster. Take a nap. Uh, Jevigara? The people closest to me slash us. Oh, and Garan, word of the day. Friends and mentors as well as family members, Jal. Good choice, Fetra says. Jal says, I thought so. It was... Not again. Lexi, I'm fine. Sit now, and I'll skip the blood work. Have you experienced any muscle spasms? 
Nosebleeds. Memory loss? No. No, but I feel a headache coming on. Ha ha. Comments like that used to get a rise out of you. I know you too well now. Inhale. <gasps> Exhale. <sighs> you should know. Professor Hirik approached me about a transfer to the Nexus. Apparently, my research on Ket anatomy has been useful to the militia. Guess I'll be telling my next doctor about my abandonment issues. <laughs> I declined. Really? Didn't have a choice. No other doctor in the initiative would take you. I'm lucky to have you here. Yes, you are. But I'm pretty lucky, too. Yeah, I bet this job pays well. All right, we'll say hello to my pet. Look at my collection of ships. <laughs> it's not complete, but what are you gonna do? Hmm. I don't know, man, DJ Ryder is so iconic at this point. Okay, where, where is Drac? Is he ever here? Only Lexi can handle the Pathfinder. Lexi made it very clear that she was not interested. I tried, you guys remember. A toast to the vanquished. Petra. The Ark. Woke up today and thought back to the search. And then I remembered it's over. It's really over, we did it. I know what you mean. I don't want this high to go away. I'm going to enjoy for as long as it lasts before I settle down. Settle down? Yeah, now that we're back on track, I thought I'd maybe talk to a Nexus colonization expert. Get assigned to an outpost, start a farm or something. What? <laughs> Who am I kidding? I love being on the ship. I'm staying here until you kick me off. I will never kick you, you off. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. You'll always be on my ship, Petra. Hey, Drac. You actually picked a Krogan ambassador, and Morda even couldn't be prouder to call you a friend. Wonder what other kind of trouble we can get up to. Always looking for the next fight, aren't you, old man? Gotta admit, old habits die hard. I might have had a long time to settle in. Hmm. We can talk more later. Me and Drac are besties now. Sure. We're besties. Alright. I don't really care if Gil has to say anything. So. Uh. Whoa. Hello. Appearing people. I guess we do have cryo points. Y'all, you're kind of. In the way. Can, can we not use our cryo points? Oh, okay. Are we gonna. Thank you. Um. Well, these are the only ones that are left, so... We did 24 out of 28. Not too bad. Alright. Save. There's a new task because we hit 100% viability? It is a significant milestone, Pathfinder. Preparations have been made for some time. I need to know if there's another expectation because of this. Updating objectives. You have a high priority destination. What? At Habitat 7. What's going on? I have been instructed to not reveal mission parameters. Don't be late, Pathfinder. Okay. It said because we have 100% viability, so I don't know if you would get that by just completing, like, by just beating the game, or if you actually had to do a certain number of 
uh, side quest to be able to do that. Well, writer does lead us to interesting places. Think yeah, there's well. anywhere more interesting than Meridian? If there is, we'll find out. Um, here. Don't be sorry, Umbreon's dinner is good. We have like one last mission, I guess. I'm picking up something. So, back at Habitat 7. What am I supposed to see, and what's it got to do with 100% viability? I'm getting initiative signals, magnetosphere charges, and atmosphere probes. The vault here remains non-functional, but with 100% viability to invest, we've begun terraforming this world with initiative technology. The good old-fashioned hard way. It'll eventually be a home too, thanks to you. Back where we started. Fitting. There is one more item, Pathfinder. Opening channels to the Nexus, Meridian, Podromos, Deteon, Tevuni, New Tachanka, and Initiative Allies. By unanimous vote, this world is to be renamed. Habitat 7 is now listed astronomically as Rider 1. Your world, Pathfinder. Their future. Well then. Uh, thank you for the host, Mystic Jedi. We just had, we just had, that named after us. Well, why is it still called Habitat 7 then? Um, this is called Rider 1, thank you. Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. Intense scourge activity is common in this area. Might be worth planting a probe. at a scourge nav point appropriate for data collection. Great. Excuse me, where's my planet? Well, we sort of had a planet named after us anyway. Okay, so, read email from Drac, all right, uh, <laughs> some good news, hey kid, been thinking about how much we've been through since I came aboard, we nailed Spender and the Archon, survived a whole mess of things, it's about time I let you in on a little secret, something good, meet me on the Nexus and don't tell anyone, well heck yes, let's go. Is this going to end with Drac's mission? Because that's a pretty good way to go. I'm alright. Mystic Jedi, it's been a very busy day. For me. Okay. I'll see you later, John Moreau. get into another bar fight. Are you gonna keep telling me that I have unused skill points until I use them? Well, I only have three and I can't really use them for anything. Well, wait. There we go. Okay, now be quiet. <laughs> Stop telling me that.
Nope, I never even got to uh, fight the Archon one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, he's dead, but... You just watched part one of A Mortician's Tale? Awesome, did you like it? I hope you did. I'm enjoying it. I don't think it'll be super long. But... That's okay. I don't know, Connor. I'd be really surprised if there was a sequel. Alright, where are you at, Drek? Probably up here, maybe? Everything's reading normal. They're snug as... Oh, hey, Ryder. Harry, what's going on here? You're telling her? Oh, can I watch, please? What? Of course. Got something to show you. I love surprises. Wait, are those... Krogan children. My children. Live in the egg, every last one of them. Oh, they make nobody else they knows, cure. Ryder. We're keeping this quiet after what happened with that human baby born out here. I don't know what's in store for me, but however this turns out, I'll be part of our future, and so will you. So, did they cure the genophage then? So, does that make me the godparent? Don't let it get to your head. We're going to need more than one. Hope. It's a scary thing. Well, let me see him. I'll teach them, Ryder, about what we used to be and what we are now. Just like he taught me. You're not even gonna let me see the little baboos? The little eggs? You're not even gonna let me see them? After that? And there's no one in here now. Come on. So I guess Cash did um, end up having a relationship with that that one Krogan who gave her the flower. At least I'm assuming. Sure glad I went to school for this. Thank you for that. Mm, I don't know if they evolved around it. Because when they left the Milky Way, it was still pretty... Uh... Potent. But they might have found either a cure or something. Since she, since she said all of them were alive. Alright, well. Uh, I think that's it. Besides, like, all this, all these few little tasks. But, I mean, I think that we did quite a lot. We may not have 100% of the game. But, we did do a lot, I think. So, there you go. That was Mass Effect Andromeda. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, surprisingly, that took us almost till 10 o'clock anyway. So, I think that's going to do.